The exhibit itself is showing stormwater best management practices. On one side of the exhibit, you'll see what is typical for how stormwater is managed or not managed within our communities and in our neighborhoods. And then on the other side are solutions to stormwater management that would be preventing pollution to our streams and rivers. The exhibit is interactive and self-guided. You can read the materials printed on the front that show different sources of pollution to our stormwater that come from excess fertilizers, animal waste, trash, debris, grass clippings that run off when it rains, uh, run off from our cars or from parking lots, which would put grease and gasolines and oils into the stormwater system as well. So when it rains, all the, the little balls here that represent rain fall through and go over our land surfaces, picking up pollution along the way and making its way to the storm drains and then into our river effluents. Rain that falls into our storm drains does not go to a treatment system before being released to the river. It simply goes through this gutter system and then the outfall is directly into our river. So anything it picks up along the way is a direct pollution source to our streams and rivers. So on the right side, what you see here are best management practices for stormwater management, like bioswales or bioretentions that will collect the runoff from parking lots and then have a rain barrel here off collecting rainfall and runoff from rooftop. We have a rain garden that helps to soak in water instead of having overland flow that makes its way to the river. We're trying to slow it down, soak it up, and get it to soak into the ground and into the groundwater instead of being overland flow, picking up pollution on its way. We also have best management practices of composting your grass clippings and leaves instead of pushing them into the roadway where they clog up the storm drains, causing flooding and other issues. We also have best management practices of picking up your animal waste, which is also could be a direct pollution source to our streams and rivers. When it rains, if you look at them side by side, there is a lot more water, rain droplets, that end up getting into our river system here on the left side because it's impermeable surfaces. And when it rains, all of that water ends up in the streams, which causes flooding and erosion and more quantity of rain and water making into our rivers. Where on the right hand side, that water is being picked up and infiltrating into the ground so you can see the quantity of the rain, or the little blue balls in this case, are a lot less on the right hand side than on the left hand side and that is because of the nature of the best management practices that are installed on the right-hand side.